Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah al -Brik. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited today the general headquarters of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was received by BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and Defense Affairs Minister General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi. His Majesty the King was accompanied by Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During His Majesty's meeting with senior officers, he hailed the success and achievements of the previous training season as well as the hard work for the reorganization of the next training season to develop competencies. His Majesty expressed pride in the BDF and its members and thanked them for their efforts in protecting the Kingdom's gains and achievements and people, also praising their readiness to contribute in facing challenges that threaten the region. His Majesty wished the BDF members success in their posts inside and outside the country. <coughs> His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at the General Headquarters of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, UK's Senior Defense Advisor for the Middle East General, Sir John Lorimer, who is currently on a visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty reviewed with the guests the Bahrain-UK relations, expressing pride in the outstanding historic relations, especially the defense and military affairs. For his part, Sir John Lorimer expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's crucial role and efforts in bolstering bilateral relations. The Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs held its regular meeting chaired by Deputy Prime Minister Jawad bin Salem al arid in the presence of committee members. The committee discussed the topics and memoranda on its agenda including draft laws and edicts and prepared to submit its recommendations to the Cabinet for further consolidation and taking the necessary action. It considered several proposed bills of law duly read, redrafted by the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission. The committee also considered a number of proposals submitted to the government by the Council of Representatives. The committee prepared the government's draft a reply based on response received by the committee from the concerned governmental entities. It decided to submit its reply, mem reply memoranda to the cabinet to take the necessary action. It also expressed opinion on some of the matters referred to it from the ministries and directorates. Under the patronage of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Bahrain Festival for Innovation and Creativity, Manama to Matera, was held yesterday. Organized by Bahrain International Federation of Business and Professional Women at the Federation headquarters. The Minister expressed pride in the festival, which reflects the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the youth and women and their development and the support of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, as well as the support of his Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the STW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to provide all the principles and means of excellence and creativity for women and youth in all sectors, especially economy and the labor market. He hailed the efforts of the President of Bahrain International Federation of Business and Professional Women, Minister of Creativity, Sheikh Hind bin Salman al Khalifa to organize the festival as part of efforts and contributions to achieve the Federation's message of enhancing the role of women and youth. He also noted the efforts of the President of the United Investment and Technology Promotion Office in Bahrain in the success of the festival. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed a pleasure in the remarkable organization which affirms the Federation's ability to organize such events. Sheikh Khalid asserted that the Ministry will continue to support the Federation in all its efforts on the local and global level that contribute in promoting the Kingdom's development march. The Minister stressed the importance of the solid cooperation between all the Kingdoms and civil society institutions wishing the festival and the Federation's activities and programs all the best. For her part, Sheikh Hind expressed thanks for the participants in the festival, recalling her visit to the city of Matera, Italy in 2015 at the invitation of the UNAIDO, where she was granted by the United Nations the title of Ambassador of Creativity during that visit. Sheikh Hind also noted that a number of artists in painting, sculpture, goldsmithing and handicrafts will visit Matera during September. She expressed her thanks to Tim Keen and the UNAIDO for supporting and cooperating with the Federation. What a beautiful initiative, what we are, where we are today. 
And I thank Sheikha Hind bin Salman and everybody with her team for really having this wonderful event. And this is only a teaser, the beginning, that will take us to Matera in Italy. And there we will represent the ingenuity of the Bahraini artists and creativity. I'm very pleased today to welcome our colleagues from Matera, Italy, who have been with us since 2015. We were very touched by their hospitality when I was invited by the UNIDO to be in Matera. At that time, it was announced as the capital of European culture in this year, 2019. So we promised ourselves that we are going back to Matera in September of 2019. But it does not make sense that we go back after being given a title of ambassador of creativity without having prepared. The preparation was over three years. We've had uh, uh, an annual festival with the support of Temkin, who are our strategic partners, and fundraising comes directly from them. I'm happy to be here today uh, celebrating uh, Bahrain and Matera. It's a great opportunity to, for entrepreneurs, especially Bahraini women. As we have seen today, many, many entrepreneurs display their products, and one of the surprising item is having uh, barata from al head area produced by Bahrainis which is uh, a very it shows you how much entrepreneurs are flourishing in Bahrain I mean it's an important moment because uh, uh, Matera in the south of Italy is rich of history rich of tradition and uh, those traditions date back also to the period of the Arab presence influence there for more than two centuries and you can still see a lot of this uh, heritage uh, in Matera and in that region, and that's why uh, they decided to establish this close link with Bahrain. So we are here inviting all these people to come in Italy, to come in south of Italy, to have a look what the Arabian people did and to stay again together. We are going to have a five days uh, uh, forum festival exhibition, uh, uh, conferences, lectures, uh, which entail music, uh, culture, food, uh, um, uh, to, to show the, 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 the influence of the Arab and the Islamic civilization in the south of, uh, of Italy, as there are there a number of what they call them Arab cities or Rabatana, which we're going to visit it and we are going to bring and revolve investment between this uh, south of Italy and, um, and the Arab region. Bahrain has won the Gender Council seat for the Middle East in the elections of the International Federation of Journalists, the IFJ, which took place in the sidelines of the IFJ 30th Congress held in Tunisia. Bahrain Journalist Association's President Ahdiya Ahmed won the seat in elections of the world's largest press forum to promote Bahrain's standing in international press forums. This is the first time Bahrain participates as a candidate for winning a membership of an IFJ committee in a press statement. As Sayyid said that she nominated herself for the Gender Council seat for the Middle East as the first Bahraini press and media personality to participate in the IFJ election. Ahdiya Ahmed also noted that it is another success to add to Bahraini women's accomplishments which comes to protect a woman journalist's professional rights across the world. She pointed out Bahrain's endeavors to achieve equal opportunities for Bahraini women and boost their role in the march of economic, social and cultural development under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The National Bureau for Revenue, the NBR, held an interactive VAT workshop for professionals working in the service sector, during which the NBR recapped general and sector-specific VAT concepts, including invoicing and filing. Following a question-and-answer session, 118 representatives from 74 vendors were given the opportunity to visit the unique interactive demo center that provides innovative learning experiences to ensure effective implementation of VAT. Today's workshop is a continuation of the series of workshops organized by the NBR to provide an inclusive platform for all stakeholders from the public and private sectors to ensure the smooth registration of companies with an annual supply of 500,000 Bahraini dinars to 5 million Bahraini dinars by June 20th, 2019.
In our international news, Bahrain has strongly condemned the terrorist attack by Iran-backed Houthi militias in Abha International Airport, Saudi Arabia, injuring a number of people, including children and women, and another cowardly criminal act against innocent civilians in contradiction with international humanitarian law and norms. The ministry statement said that whilst it wishes all those injured speedy recovery, it affirms the full solidarity of Bahrain with the brotherly Saudi Arabia against all those who dare to put its security and stability at stake. The ministry vowed full support for the Saudi endeavors to eliminate violence and terrorism and reinforce peace and security in the region and beyond it, affirming the need for a strong-willed international stand against Iran to stop its supporting these recurrent terrorist attacks.